Hi, this is Christy with ChristyPetersonPhotography.com, and I have an Etsy shop, and its name is Fairy Photography. And this is a tutorial on how I use digital overlays um, that I sell in my shop. I also sell digital backgrounds and costumes and Photoshop templates to help fairy photographers. So first I'm going to show how to use this one, it's Glitter Swirls. And there are just a couple of these that do need to be masked off, and this is one of them. Um, maybe I should say there's a couple that don't need to be masked off. So this is a 4 by 6 ratio, and the picture I put it on is an 8 by 10, so I needed to stretch it a little bit. I'm going to add a mask to this, and my brush is selected with black so that I can conceal, right, reveal, black conceal. I'm just going to paint over the skin. You use this, or at least I like to use this, as um, any other texture where you paint it off the skin. And I'm going to also take it off. I usually leave some in the hair, um, but not too much. And then I'm going to take it off the wings, because the wings, these particular ones, have a design. So it's just up to you uh, how you like to do that. Um, and that's it. And if you like to fade the background, you can change the opacity. Or if you want it brighter, you can control J and, um, and double it, and that strengthens the look. You can also change the color by the um, effects over here down in the palette. And you do color overlay. And it's default red. So you can pick a color from her um, dress. And then I go lighter. And then that changes the color. Okay, next one. I'm going to show how to do the blowing pixie dust. And I need to transform this by flipping it horizontal. Then if I need to transform the size, you can do it now before you hit the OK, or you can control T, control T and transform it that way. So let me grab the move tool. When you're moving this around and if it feels like it's kind of sticky and not going exactly where you want, hold the control button down and then you can move it more precisely. Okay. And then this last one I'm going to put on fairy orbs. I love it when I have the chance to use this one. Okay, and click OK. And I'm going to mask it off the stump. And this one right down there, make it look like it's coming out of the corner. I'm going to leave that one. Take one off the foot. Turn it off and on to see where else, if it's on the ferry at all. And there's one there in the wings. I'm just going to leave that. Okay, and then I always put pixie dust on all my fairies except for the previous two because it's just too much effect. Okay, so I drag this one on here and make it a little bit bigger and then just like the other. Um, sparkle swirl. I'm going to mask it off the skin. I add a mask and then paint it black to take the sparkle off the skin. Okay. And then the last one is the butterfly. And this picture really doesn't um, look great with the butterfly. But I'm going to just add it here so you can see. It needs to be transformed. And if you want to move it, you just rotate it in corners like that. Uh, I forgot to say with this glitter swirls, I like to use it on close up and then on ones where there's a lot of negative space like this. Alright, I hope you enjoy those um, tips and tricks, and thanks for watching.